Hi everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video on this channel. I actually have a special video for you today. This one is going to be a lot of information about how I make all the videos. As most of you know, um, if you've commented on any of my videos, I actually reply to every single comment. There's not a comment that I have not ever replied to, I'm pretty sure. If I haven't replied to your comment, then um, I'm really sorry. It, it was an accident and I missed it, but I do probably would say maybe 98-99% of the comments I've been replying to. Out of all of the questions that I get about how I record, and uh, all the questions about the gameplay, all the comments about the gameplay, disliking or liking the content, the question that I have received the most out of any question is, what are the shaders called that I'm playing with, and what are the settings for those shaders? Now I am going to get into all of that, but what I wanted to do was share with you guys exactly how I downloaded everything and what I'm using to play with everything. First things first, you do need to go to fabricmc.net. This is where you're going to get the latest fabric installer, and that is what I'm using right now to play on 1.19 with these shaders. And by the way, the shaders are called complementary shaders. I use BSL, SUS Renewed, and complementary, but complementary shaders are, in fact, right now my favorite, and I'm going to keep using them for the time being. Once you have Fabric installed, you're going to, actually you can go to CurseForge, this is where you're going to get a lot of the mods that are going to be used with Fabric. But once you go to CurseForge, you can uh, look up the following mods. The first one that I always get is going to be Iris, and followed by Sodium, and these are going to be helping you with your performance of the game. Logical Geek Boy made a great mod called Logical Zoom that allows me to do this, just like in Optifine. I use Fabric API as well as the Continuity mod, and actually the Continuity mod does not work without Indium, and so Indium is another mod that you'll have to download as well. Now as far as the second most popular question, what are the settings for the complementary shaders that I'm using, um, what I'm going to do is actually send you guys a link uh, to another video that I watched, and actually they gave me all of the information. It's TechThor, great YouTuber. Uh, it's called The Ultimate Guide to Complementary Shaders, Settings, Tips, Explanations, Before and Afters, FPS. It is a great video. I'll put it in the link in the description down below, but what we're going to do is go to Options. If you have Fabric, you can go to Video Settings. You can see your shader packs here. Right now I'm using Complementary Shaders. I have BSL and SUS Renew that I also like to use. Um, but what I'm going to do is click on Shader Pack Settings. This is how you're going to get into the nitty gritty of everything all, like everything involved with your complementary shaders or any of your shaders that you're going to go to the shader pack settings is what you're going to want to do the main question that i get is how i get the galaxy setting and that's the sky you go to aurora borealis setting you can literally just turn it on that's all you got to do and that's going to give you the galaxy in the sky at night also if you'd like to change the color of the water or even the color of the sky you can go in and turn it up or down the reds blues and greens of all of these Shader settings and uh, tinkering around with your shader settings is actually really beneficial to increasing your FPS as well. You can go to your lighting, uh, change your shadows um, throughout all of these. You can look at your worlds and you can actually just mess with this bit by bit until you start to notice FPS increases. A lot of the stuff that is on, if you turn it off, you'll notice you will have an FPS increase. But again, I'm going to link the video down to TechThor's video down below because it's just a lot better explanation and there's no way that I'm giving you all the information that you'd need. If your game's crashing when you're loading fabric, it means you might have an outdated mod or an incompatible mod. So just go ahead and start taking out a mod every now and then and maybe restarting it to see which mod is not working if you have a pack of them. Um, otherwise, you're, it might be a little bit difficult to find it out. Um, but yeah, that's happened to me before. You just need to make sure uh, you have all of the updated mods and uh, it should be good to go. The most popular question I get during my live Twitch streams, and it actually happens to us, I mean, yeah, it's sometimes on YouTube, but most of the questions on YouTube are about the shaders. On the Twitch streams, though, the most popular question are, what are my PC specs? Sometimes I get that question on YouTube, too, but I figured, you know what, let's answer that right now. So if you want to see your own PC specs on your computer, if you're on the PC, that is, you can just hit F3. And then it'll show you your CPU and your GPU information on the right side. You can see I have a CPU. It's an AMD Ryzen 9 3900X 12-core processor. And then my GPU is just the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Super. And so it's a, it's a pretty decent combo for a, for a home-built computer. Uh, Custom-built about two years ago. You can hit F3 to get that back down. But yeah, I mean, I, I hope it delivers um, a nice visual uh, experience. I, I try to record at a decent FPS for you guys. And uh, I just want, I just, I hope they look good. I really hope all these videos look good. And if you have any suggestions or if you want to see something different, let me know for sure. But yeah, I mean, this is a, I, I made this video because this is a frequent question. I get this all the time. It's in my Discord. If you are in my Discord right now, you've probably seen this question over and over. So I am just here to address it. And I wanted to 
show you guys right here and tell you exactly how I download everything and what I use to record and uh, what the settings are. So um, again, I'm going to link the video down to TechThor's video down below. And if you guys uh, have any more questions, feel free to comment down below. But that's going to be it. Feel free to join the Discord, guys. Join us live on Twitch for any of the live Twitch streams. I try to stream almost every day. And then join the Patreon if you want to. Man, you guys rock. Seriously, thank you so much. Take care of yourselves and have a decent day. Bye.